Uh, you know, uh, landlords, sometimes I can really uh, empathize with you. And, and I just <laughs> I just got the phone with uh, with a fella going from uh, coming from from the uh, the western side of the United States on behalf of one of our one of our landlord clients. And, uh, you know, he's like, uh, Mr. Gazella, uh, what's up with the uh, with the amendment proposal? I'm like, what amendment proposal? The rent reduction proposal? What, you out of your mind? I said, well, have you looked at that site? I'm like, tell me. He's like, well, you know, uh, so you're saying no, you're not going to adjust the lease? Absolutely not. No rent reductions. Not interested. The landlord is never going to give you a rent reduction here. Well, we're going to have to refer this over for review at Verizon because uh, it, it could possibly go away. I'm like, listen, buddy, put down your script. Put down your script and go take a look at that site. Go and tell me where else is Verizon gonna be able to relocate that cell site? Where? Go tell me, show me and convince me. And, you know, humana, humana, humana. He had absolutely nothing to say. Basically, there is no other rooftop where they can move this thing. And if they were gonna move it, they're gonna spend whatever, 100,000 bucks to move the site, maybe a quarter mile down the road. And that's that's really kind of far as far as where, you know, where this thing needs to, uh, would need to be relocated. And then down the street, you actually have, um, you have a, a university campus with like 15,000 students. And, you know, I'm gonna venture to say at least 50% of them will probably have Verizon phones. And they're crying poverty over like a, I don't know, $3,500 a month rooftop cell site lease. No, no. So um, if you're getting receiving these phone calls, you know, this was a Verizon rooftop cell site, but maybe you're getting them for AT&T or T-Mobile and they're, they're, they're calling to uh, get you to sign one of these rent reduction letters. Ask them, you know, have they taken a look at your site? What other rooftops are available there? What does the zoning code say? These guys are reading off a, a script, and um, you know I, I felt bad for the. Well, I don't really feel that bad, but I, I felt a little bit bad for about a second, then I got over it. So, um, but clearly they're reading a script. They have no clue. They don't know anything about your site. So, if you have questions about the viability of your, you know, of your rooftop cell site location, Verizon, T-Mobile, AT and T, give us a call at Tower Genius. We'll take a look at your site. We'll take a look at the zoning. We'll look at the competitive locations and we'll give you very specific feedback about the probability and the risk that you have for your cell site being uh, decommissioned because or ter lease terminated because you haven't given them a rent reduction. So uh, anyway, I feel better now that I recorded that.